hello everyone so welcome back to my channel again today we are going to learn one more initial value problem which is uh, runge kute method of order 4 so before going to start i'll suggest you to kindly go through the other videos like taylor series method euler's method and euler's modified method uh, to have a better understanding of runge kute method of order 4 and we also know that euler's method is uh, rk method of order 1 and Euler's modified method is RK method of order 2. So here also we will consider a first order differential equation. Okay. See the first order differential equation is this one dy by dx is equals to f of x comma y. So here f of x comma y is the corresponding function where x is independent variable and y is dependent on x. So what does it mean? It means y is a function of x now what the formula suggests okay so initial conditions are again given it's x equal to x naught and what y equal to y naught and we know that what is h h is the step size of the problem now in formula it's given like this what is rk method of uh, what is the formula for rk method of order 4 it's y1 or you can simply write y also no problem so y1 is equals to so y at what point we are going to find the value of uh, y at the point x okay and what is x here it is x naught plus h so x naught is provided to us in the question as initial value and h is the step size okay and uh, what we will get y naught plus k so y naught is again the initial value and this particular k we have to find so in rk method k is defined like this okay this is the k that we have to remember so our k is it's 1 by 6 1 by 6 then uh, 1 by 6 into k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus and then what k4 okay now we have to memorize this k1 k2 k3 individually so here what is k1 our k1 is h into f of x naught comma y so this one we can easily find out right so h is the step size which will be provided to us or else we'll take it and then f of x naught comma y naught so it's already given okay this is our f of x comma y so from the function f of x comma y you can easily find what f of x naught comma y naught then k2 k2 is h into f of x naught plus now it's a little slightly different x naught plus h by 2 and then y naught plus k1 by 2 so you can find k2 also so because um, after finding k1 so in k2 so you see everything is known h then x naught h by 2 y naught plus and k1 just now we find it so it's k1 by 2 so similarly we have to find the other two values which is k3 and k4 okay so k2 and uh, k3 are almost similar but when you check k k4 is h into f of x naught plus h and then y naught plus k3 okay y naught plus k3 so after finding k1 k2 k3 and k uh, k4 all these four values we will put here to get k okay and after finding k we can easily find y naught plus k okay so uh, just uh, try to remember the formula and the problems are very easy okay so let us go to the first problem okay so here what to find we have to find uh, the solution using rk method of fourth order so it will be mentioned in the portion don't worry uh, if it is not mentioned then you can use taylor's method also euler's method also or euler's modified method also but i think it will be clearly mentioned in the question that use rk method of order four to find the approximate value so we know that whatever value we will find for y in numerical analysis answers are what? Uh, approximate but it's very very near to the actual solution so at what point do we have to find at the point x equals to 0 0.2 and this is our function dy by dx equals to x plus y and this x plus y is nothing but f of x comma y right and initial values are also given so this is our y naught and this is what x naught now just see one thing here step size is not mentioned okay 
step size is not given here. So in Euler's modified method, I already told, uh, already told you, if the step size is not given to us, then whatever x is given, this one will take as h. Okay. This is, uh, but in, in the next problem, we will we'll do one more problem. In the next problem, step size is given. So procedure will be a little bit different. But here, since step size is not given, so what we'll do? We'll directly take the value of x as what? h. Okay, now let us go to the solution given dy by dx is equals to what? x plus y. So I'll again suggest you for a better understanding, you just uh, take pen and paper and kindly do with me so that uh, you have a better understanding. So at the end of the last, uh, at the end of the problem, you will easily understand it. And wherever needed, you just pause the video and then uh, use the read the full calculation and then proceed further. So this is the function dy by dx equals to x plus y and then y equals to y naught and then we have x equals to x naught and let the step size which is h is 0 0.2 okay in Euler's modified method also I have told that if h is not given then whatever the value of x is given at what point we have to find the value of y exactly that one we have to take h okay okay now um, what is the formula for uh, Euler's uh, sorry uh, RK method of order 4 so we have to find y at the point x so our x is how much x naught plus h and finally what we will get is y naught plus k and what is k? k is 1 by 6. Then what is uh, k1 plus how much it is? k1 plus uh, 2k2 plus 2k3 and then finally it is what? k4. Okay. This is the formula. So first we have to find k1, k2, k3 and k4. Then all these four values will put here to get k and then in the final step will get y naught, the value of y which is y naught plus k. Okay. Then let us find first k1. So I think you remember what is k1. k1 is h into f of x naught comma y naught. So our h is 0 0.2 step size and then f of x naught. x naught is given in the quotient which is 0 and y naught is how much? 1. So where from we'll get this? From this function f of x comma y right? So it's 0 0.2. What is f of x comma y? It is x plus y. So our x is 0. This is our x. x is 0. And y is what? 1. So it's 0 plus 1. Okay. So how much it is? It is 0 0.2. After calculation, it is 0 0.2. So these calculations are very simple. You don't need calculator also. Now let us find k2. Okay. So our k2 is h into f of x naught plus h by 2, y naught plus what? k by 2, right? So h is again 0 0.2, f of x naught is 0, h by 2. So h by h is how much? 0 0.2 and divided by 2. So how much it is? 0 0.1. And then y naught, our y naught is how much? y naught is given in the quotient which is 1 plus k by 2. Just now we get, so not k, uh, it will be k1, okay? This is k1 by 2, not k, k1 by 2. So what k1 is 0.2. So 0.2 by 2 is how much? It's 0.1. And this should be comma, 0.1, okay? So how much you'll get? You'll get 0 0.2, then f of 0.1, comma, 1.1. So again, this is of the form f of x, comma, y. So our f of x, comma, y is how much? x plus y. So it's 0.1 plus 1.1. So when you calculate it, how much you will get? Uh, after calculation, you will get uh, 2.4. Okay, 0 0.24. So see, it's, it's not taking time also. Then K3. So K3 is H into, so K3 and K2 is almost same. F of X0 plus H by 2 and then Y0 plus, now it will be K2 by 2. Okay, K2 by let us find it. 
So h is again 0.2 f of x not plus h by 2. x not plus h by 2, we already got it in k2, so it will be 0.1, then y not, y not is 1, and then k2 by 2. So our k2 is 0.24, right? So this by 2 means 0 0.12. So it's 0 0.2, and then uh, how much it is? x plus y, our x is 0 0.1 plus is 1.12. So after calculation, you calculate it. After calculation, what we'll get? We'll get 0 0.244, okay? So if you calculate it exactly, you'll get 0 0.224. So now let us find K4. So our K4 is, so here the formula is a little bit different. It's H into F of, but x naught plus h comma y naught plus now it is k3 so again h is 0.2 f of uh, x naught plus h is 0 0.1 y naught is 1 uh, plus our k3 is 0 0.244 so this is equals to 0 0.2 so again it is of the form f of x comma y in this particular problem, this is x plus y, so it's x plus our y will be 1.244. So we calculate it. After calculation, we will get 2888. Okay, 2888. Now, all the values we know, k1, k2, k3, k4. Now, what to do? Now, we'll put all these values, okay, we'll put all these values in place of k. So now, k will be equals to, it is 1 by 6, right? 1 by 6, then k1 plus 2k2, 2k3 plus k4. So let us put all the values one by one. So it's 1 by 6. Our k1 is um, 0 0.2, I guess. So yes, k1 is 0 0.2. Then 2 into our k2 is 0 0.24. Again, 2 into k3 is 0 0.244. And k4 is 0 0.2888. So if you just sim simplify it, so after calculation, we will get the k value of k as 2428. Right? So this is our k. Then finally, what to find? We have to find the value of y. y at the point what x and what is our x it is x naught plus h okay x naught plus h so y at the point x x naught plus h our x naught is how much zero and h is 0 0.2 so at the point x equal to 0 0.2 we are finding the value so it's what is the formula y naught plus k so y naught is given in the question one and k is how much 0 0.24 so this is the answer is very simple, 2, 4, 2, 8. So in most of the cases, you no need to use calculator also. So it's a very simple type of problem. Okay. So 1.2428. So is it clear? So now let's go back to one more problem. So now we'll do this uh, problem number two. So again, we have to use RK method of order four. And x is 0 0.2. Now see here yeah, step size is given. Okay, so watch this problem a little bit more carefully. So since our h is 0 0.1 and x is 0 0.2, so that means what? We have to do two steps. The first steps, it will be for 0 0.1. Then if we add 0 0.1 again, then only we will get 0 0.2. So here we need to do in two steps. And this is the function dy by dx equal to how much x plus y square so this is our f of x comma y this is y naught and this is what x naught so here the initial values are exactly same as the last problem value of x is also same but f of x comma y is different and this and moreover the step size is different okay, okay. so let us begin the solution 
given dy by dx is equal to how much x plus y square and then our y naught is 1 x naught is 0 what to find to find y at x equal to 0 0.2 with step size with step size uh, h equals to 0 0.1 okay so what is step size to understand it you just go back to Euler's form uh, Euler's formula where I have explained step size in a very uh, detailed way so now let us do the solution so here our f of x comma y is how much f of x comma y is, uh, this this one is f of x comma y is x plus y square okay so h is given y naught is given everything is given so let us first find k1 so what is k1 k1 is h into f of x naught comma y naught so h is 0 0.1 f of x naught x naught is 0 and y naught is 1 so it's 0 0.1 here what is f of x comma y f of x comma y is x means 0 plus y square so it is 0 0.1 not 0 0.1 it's 1 is given so x naught plus y square uh, x plus y square Okay, so if you calculate it, how much you will get? It will remain same, 0 0.1. So K1, the low K1 is uh, calculated. Now find K2. So K2 is how much? It is H into F of, what is the formula? X naught plus H by 2, Y naught plus K by 2. Now you see, initially when you um, uh, see the formulas, no? then it uh, comes to my our mind that we have to remember k then k1 k2 but see when we finish the first problem at the very second problem is almost we know the all the values right so it's very easy to remember also so don't worry then h h is how much here h is 0 0.1 then f of x naught plus h by 2 x naught is 0 h by 2 okay so here h is 0 0.1 so it will be 0 0.1 by 2. 0 0.1 by 2 means 0 0.05 comma. Then y naught plus k by 2. Our y naught is 1. K is just now, no? k is uh, 0.1. So it's 1 plus 0 0.1 by 2. So 0 0.05. Okay. So, so it's 0 0.1 into. Now this form is what? F of x comma y. So our f of x comma y is how much? x plus y square. Our y is 1.05 whole square. Okay, 1.05 whole square. So calculate it, you will get 1152. 0.1152. So k2 is also done. Now go for k3. So k3 is h into f of, okay, one more mistake I have made here. It should be k1, okay f of x naught plus h by 2 and then y naught plus now it is k2 by 2 okay k2 by 2 so h is 0.1 f of x naught plus h by 2 so f of x naught plus h by 2 we already know it is 0 0.05 and then y naught is 1 plus k2 by 2 so k2 is uh, how much k2 is 0.1152 so 0.1152 divided by how much? 2. So if you do that, you will get uh, 0 0.0576. Okay. So this 0.1. So again, this is of the form f of x comma y. So our f of x comma y is x plus y square. Y is 1.0576 whole square. So again, you calculate it. After calculation, you will get 1168. So now finally, you have to find K4. K4 is H into what? F of X naught plus H, Y naught plus K3. So H is again 0 
f of x naught plus h our x naught plus h is how much x naught is um, 0 and h is 0 0.1 so it is only 0.1 and then y naught plus k3 our y naught is 1 and k3 is 0 0.1168 so it will be point 0.1 then again f of x comma y so f of x comma y is x plus y square our y is 1.1168 whole square so after calculation what we will get we will get 0 0.1347 okay 0 0.1347 so all the values are done now what we will do we will put all these values in k now k equals to what is the formula 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus what k4 so it's 1 by 6 so what is our k1 mm. our k1 is 0.1 so it's 0 0.1 plus 2 into our k2 is 0 0.1152 plus 2 into k3 k3 is what 0 0.1168 and then finally what k4 k4 is 0 0.1347 so now, now let us calculate all this and after calculation what value we will get after calculation the value of k will be 0 0.1165 so k is done now what we will find y at the point x equals to how much x naught plus h so y at the point x equal to x naught is 0 and h is 0 0.1. So at 0 0.1 we are getting. What is the value? y naught plus k. Our y naught is 1. k is just now you got it 0 0.0065. So it's 1.1165. But see this is not the answer. In problem number 1 up to this much if we do then we will get the solution. But in problem number 2 this is not the solution why because here the value of y we are finding at point one but if you go back to the question we see we are we have to find the value of y at which point at point two so still one part is left out now see see the second part very carefully okay now we have to find for the last part for the last part now our x1 will be equals to x0 plus h so x0 is how much x0 is so uh, in the above part no now we have we have to what to do we have to replace all the x0 okay all the x0 by x1 formulas will be same so see in in k1 in k2 in k3 and in k4 okay every time we are writing x naught plus h or x naught plus h by 2 all those x naught now it will be replaced by what x1 so x1 is how much x1 is x naught plus h so our x naught is 0 and h is 0 0.1 okay so now it is how much 0 0.1 then what is y1 y1 so y1 is this one y1 means it's 1.1165 so x0 is sorry x1 is known to us y1 is also known to us and what is h h is same it's 0 0.1 h is 0 0.1 now let us find k1 okay what is k1 k1 is h into now it is not f of x0 comma y0 now it is f of x1 comma y1 okay k1 is h into f of x1 comma y1 so previously it is h into f of x naught comma y naught but now it is what h into f of x1 comma y naught so h is 0.1 f of our x1 x1 is 0.1 and then y1 is 1.1165 so see again this is f of what f of x naught comma y naught type of thing or f of x comma y so if it is f of x comma y so what is the formula it is x plus y square our y is 1.1165 whole square so just calculate it after calculation 
what we get? We will get 1, 3, 4, 7. Okay. 1, 3, 4, 7. So, let us find K2 now. K2 is H into F of. Now, it is X1 plus what? H by 2. So, in the first part, it is X0 plus H by 2. Now, it is X1 plus H by 2. Now, see, here we are doing the problem in two step. But if it is more, suppose we have to find the value of Y at point 3, then we have to do third part also. So, this is how much? Uh, y1 plus K by 2. So, H is point 0.1 f of x1 so our x1 is how much x1 is 0 0.1 and h by 2 is how much h by 2 is 0 0.1 divided by 2 so it's 0 0.05 okay 0 0.05 so when you calculate everything you will get 0 0.15 and then next one is y1 so our y1 is how much y1 is 1.1165 k by 2 so k by 2 so actually it is k1 by 2 so our k1 is how much k1 is 0.1347 by 2 right y1 is this value okay this is y1 this is our y1 this value is our y1 and then this is k so we just find out k by 2 so when you add y1 plus k1 by 2 we will get 1.1838 right so again this is f of x comma y so it's point 0.1, then what? x plus y square. 1, 8, 3, 3, 8, whole square. So calculate it. After calculation, what we'll get? We'll get 0 0.1551. This is our K2. Okay. Now let us go and find K3. So K3 is h into f of how much? x1 plus h by 2. And then y1 plus now it is k2 by 2. Okay, so h is 0.1. Then f of x1 plus h by 2, you already know it. So it's 0 0.15 plus then y1 plus k2 by 2. Okay, so y1 is how much? Y1 is our y1 is 1.1165 k2. K2 is 0 0.1152 divided by 2. Calculate it, and after calculation, you will get this one 1.194 uh, okay so it should be comma this is comma so again the form is f of x comma y so it's h into x plus y square so 1.194 whole square so kindly find k3 so after calculation we'll get 0 0.15 Seven, six. So this is our K3. Okay. So K3 also we know. And one more term K4. So formula for K4 is what? H into F of X0 plus H comma Y0 plus K. Okay. Y0 plus K. So H is 0.1. F of, sorry, sorry, this is not X1. Uh, so this is X1 plus H and Y1 plus K. Okay. So in the first part, this should be. Um, x0 plus h and y0 plus k but here it is f of x1 plus h and y1 plus uh, what is the last term k3 okay k3 so our x1 is how much our x1 is um, x1 is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 plus h so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 it will be how much it will be our 0 0.2 and then y1 y1 is uh, see y1 is 1.1165 plus k3 just now we got it 0.1576 if we add both the term then you will get 1 point uh, 1 point it is 1576 okay 76 so again this is of the form f of x comma y so h into x plus x plus y square so calculate it so after calculation what will you get you will get 1 8 7 3 okay so k3 is also done now what where we will put all these values in k now k equals to uh, k equals to in the first part no in the first part is uh, how much 
y not plus k, right? Yes, y not plus k. Now k will be different. If you want, then you can uh, give some other name also. Suppose k dash otherwise you may be confused. So it's 1 by 6 k1, 2k2 plus 2k3 plus what? k4. Okay? Or we will stick to only k also, no problem. Because it is the second part. So this is equals to 1 by 6. And then k1, in this part our k1 is 1, 3, 4, 7. Then k2, k2 is our 0 0.3102, I guess, no? k2 is, you know, how much? k2 is, uh, okay, it's 2 into k2. Okay. So our see, k1 is 0 0.1551, right? But here it is 2 into k2. So 2 into 0.11. Yeah, sorry, one uh, five one five five one is point three one zero two plus then two into k three. So our k three is uh, point one five seven six. If you multiply it by two, you will get point uh, three one five two. And finally, k four k four is one eight seven three. Okay, so all the values are uh, put here. So just calculate, and the final term will be one five seven zero six. So this is our k. Now, finally, what to find? Now we'll find y at the point x equal to x1 plus h. Okay. So it's y x equal to x1. x1 is 0.1. h is also 0.1. So this is y at the point x equal to 0. .2. So at this particular point, we have to find the value. So how much it is? It is y1 plus k. Earlier it is uh, y0 plus k. But here it is y1 plus k. So y1 is how much? y1 is about, um, y1 is how much? y1 is 1.1165. So it's 1.1165 plus k. k is our 1.5706. So okay. So if we add all the term, then how much you will get after adding? It will be one point. Two seven three five six. Okay, so it's very simple, right? So here in second problem, we have to do it two steps, or you can say first part and second part. Why? Because of the step size. But in problem number one, step size is not given. Whatever value of x is given directly, we have taken that value as h. But here, since step size is mentioned, step size is what point one, and at what point you have to find the value of y? at point two. So that's why you have to do in two steps. Okay. So I hope that this particular video will uh, clarify your all the doubts of Runge Gupta method of fourth order. So again, I'll suggest you at least to do four to five sums from any book. Okay. And uh, thank you for watching.